Jones. Black Trunks, Felix. I was just one way, but when it comes to Krill, he's a boxer puncher. He likes he likes getting there, and that's what he's going to need against Alvarado. Tonight. Right out of the gate from Alvarado as his ponytail blows in the wind. That's how you tell the twins, the twins apart. Arriba, Felix with the longer Felix. hair than his brother. Might keep Alvarado off. And Alvarado looks like the bit. But trying to keep this this uh, harder hitting. So he has to keep that calmness and, and know that this pressure start getting respect. Picking picking his shots like he's doing. So far, all Alvarado. So Krill needs to tie him up or get oh, off the ropes. A second. He has come out smelling like roses. You got to stay off the ropes because those heavy hands will start taking the soul. Body shot Alvarado. Can Alvarado keep up this pace for 12 times? He's doing that right now. I'm going, Jay. Early in this first round. Thought about Creel as though. When you're the world's in a pandemic, so he is not here, but you know, is watching along with almost everyone else in Nicaragua. And they just saw a massive knockdown with a left hook from Felix Alvarado. Ring. Easier said than done when you have a beast like Alvarado on you. Oh, and that one hit him right on the temple. Pandemic left his family behind in South Africa. Said loneliness, everyone in South Africa. He did everything necessary. He also had Bones Adams in his corner. These are these are some fight, high fight IQ trainers in his corner. Full ring, stay off the ropes. Just caught a right hand and look at Alvarado. He looks sensational. And don't get a right hand. Creel cannot match power for power with this just Chocolatito would be proud of what Felix is doing here tonight. You should also be moving that head a lot more. Alvarado. Let's Any fight has been spent toe to toe, according to CompuBox. And that's what we like. He's the slow the progress of Alvarado. No, but not if you ask. He just doesn't have the power, it seems, at this weight class to do any kind of damage. In fire. Chris Mannix was mentioning those 58 punches hurt a lot with an opponent who's hit you, and you go, wait a minute, this guy, even if he catches me, is clean. But he's moving up in weight, left the 105 pound division. Ropes and he's clinching whenever. And throwing punches to keep Alvarado from landing those big shots. Camacho Camacho with the. Oh, he's down again for a second time! It's just small victories now. Alvarado is winning the war. There's that double, triple uppercut, right upper. Like Alvarado off the battle. Between following guys around the ring and cutting him off. And in this fight, Alvarado is doing a really good job. As Chris was alluding to earlier, it's one thing if your fighters get dropped by two big left hooks, and he will get dropped again because he's keeping his chin up in the air. You know, South Africans won IBM titles throughout the year. And the first South African to win a heavyweight title. Shoe shining from Creel. And Alvarado just looking for that big left hook again. When he's exiting away from the ropes, he's standing straight up, and that's the reason he got caught with that wide left hook. Look, this good. I mean, he's fighting a guy coming up in weight who's good. But Camacho, Camacho's got the, the tassels, the long hair, the excitement. Just stop. No, he's uh, Alvarado's his own, his own, his own style. I mean, what, he, what about Sugar Ray Robinson? Bending his back, getting low, coming up with those left hooks. It was more of the tassels in the hair, okay? It was an aesthetic. But then you just start to wonder, does oh. Alvarado just want to... Oh. I think Creel's looking at those shots, but he's not keeping Alvarado. Hold on. So a much That's better round for Creel. Regardless what the numbers say, the more consequential punches. Creel starting off nicely here. He's backing up, catching the punches, and coming up with uppercuts. Right uppercuts. Nice. Right. You can hear the corner. I hear you, Chris. But keep working that body like right there. They're just not very heavy. These punches aren't hurting Albert.
fighter, he absolutely can get back into this fight. I mean, but the momentum is shifting slightly. Knockdowns are going to loom large in this fight as Creel tries to get them. So you've seen some substantive change in Ryan's again. Much more competitive rounds with Sergio who's up like that. Moving up in weight to 108 pounds. Could slow and steady win it. Very close and Creel. See that? Sergio, what could you hear from the corner of Zero? I was trying to listen to what they were saying, but I've been telling you about those deep breaths for and let's say round five. Didn't know anything about it. You'd think Creel's probably winning. A lot of activity, regardless of the power behind the punches. Other judges like shots like that. Big punches, even if they're not there by Creel. Nice left, left hook by Alvarado. There's the uppercut splitting the guard. This is another good round by DJ Krill. Creel will hit. Nice jabs there. That's 10 seconds. Oh, straight back on Alvarado. Just as we say that, it's the Alvarado from rounds one, two, and three. I think he's tired of being pestered by Creel and wants to end this right here, right now. It sure looks that way coming out so far. Ooh, a big uppercut, a nasty one. Uh, getting back into this, it's sort of a strange dynamic, Sergio, where Creel looks fresher in the corner, but Alvarado looks fresh. Bell rings. He's deep in the corner between rounds. To what you want him to do in those last 15, 20 seconds. Heard Derek Harmon's instructions in the corner of Creel. That's exactly what he said. He's breathing heavy. You see, he's just uh -oh. as tired as you. That head is going back really easily. A Creel. Ten seconds to go here in round nine. He's in trouble again. Creel needs to hold on. Alvarado finish it now. He's stumbling. There's the bell to end. The power to keep your opponent off. You can't give him anything cleanly. Don't keep your hand. Oh, big overhand right. The referee about to step in. You can sense it here. Unless... Oh. Well, I tell you what. Creel's not going to win this fight, but he still might get performed. A sense that the referee is right there. You don't need to land one big punch to knock him out. If you flurry, that referee's going to... Creel right now like a vulture. Sensing doom is near. And that's it. It's over. Felix Alvarado. 36 and 2, 31 knockouts, a sensational performance. This career. Anytime a fighter's eyes leave their opponent, you know you got your bell rung.